Novena to the Holy Spirit, Day 4 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thou in toil art comfort sweet, pleasant coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. By the gift of fortitude, the soul is strengthened against natural fear and supported to the end in the performance of duty. Fortitude imparts to the will an impulse and energy which moves it to undertake without hesitancy the most arduous tasks, to face dangers, to trample underfoot human respect, and to endure without complaint the slow martyrdom of even lifelong tribulation. He that shall persevere unto the end, he shall be saved. Come, O blessed spirit of fortitude, uphold my soul in time of trouble and adversity. Sustain my efforts after holiness, strengthen my weakness. Give me courage against all the assaults of my enemies that I may never be overcome and separated from thee, my God and greatest good. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees, before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and have my being. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspiration. I cling to you and give myself to you, and ask you, by your compassion, to watch over me in my weaknesses. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus, and looking at his five wounds, and trusting in his precious blood, and adoring his open side, and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace, that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, 
to say to you always and everywhere. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Amen. Prayer for the Seven Gifts of the Holy Spirit O Lord Jesus, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. And the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.